Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is time to build the Lego Scooby-Doo, the Mummy Museum Mystery. This is really cool because it has got Shaggy in it and it's got Scooby-Doo in it and it's got an antagonist and a mystery that we have to solve. But of course, we first have to build it all. So it's only a little pack, so it will be lots of fun and nice and easy, but there's lots of details in it. So let's get started. We've got Scooby-Doo. Of course we do, because it wouldn't be a Scooby-Doo set without him. And he is in his standing up position with his little paw up. And the set also comes with Shaggy. So let's see what we might have special about Shaggy in this set. Here's his smiley face. Here's his really scared face. There, with his scared eyebrows. He's very, very concerned. He also gets a map, a special map for this set, which is, well, it's about the mystery, the mummy mystery. There's the sarcophagus and the mummy. We're going to turn them facing the back because we need to build this mummy, but we don't want to give away the mystery to Scooby and Shaggy because then it would be ruined. It'd be pointless. So here is our mummy all wrapped in bandages. Here is his face, but ah, oh, look, it was just Dr. Najib. But let's see, look, with his cross moustache, that's when he gets found out. But in the meantime, he is all dressed up as a mummy to hide in the sarcophagus. Look, see? See, that's what he would look like, really. But no, he is pretending. Oh, now, so wander off here, Dr. Najib mummy, so we can put Scooby and Shaggy back over here. Now, I have opened a few Scooby-Doo Lego sets now, and I'm curious to see how these figures are different in the different sets. They've got different expressions, so I'm going to bring them in. Look, here's the Scooby from the Mystery Mansion set, and he's standing up, but he's got a little tongue hanging out one side because he's obviously more hungry in that particular mystery. And here is Shaggy from the Mystery Mansion. Let's put their happy faces on. See, he's much happier when he's in the Mystery Mansion and, well, not quite as scared either, just more worried. So look, that's really cool. The Shaggies and the Scoobies have got quite a, yeah, quite a range of different expressions. In the Mystery Machine build, here's Scooby again standing up but with a really scared face and the other side's just normal. So look at that, three different versions of Scooby faces. What about Shaggy? That looks like it might be the same face as the Mystery Mansion set. Okay, so the Mystery Machine and the Mystery Mansion set are the same. And I also have the figures from the Lego Dimensions game where Scooby's actually sitting down and he just looks happy the whole way. But this one has got the Shaggy that we are doing currently now in this set. So look at that. There is so much choice here, especially amongst the Scoobies. They're all different. I don't have an identical Scooby yet. There's two different types of Shaggies, well, Shaggy expressions, and there are, well, four different Scoobies so far out of the four things that I have Scooby in. That is very cool and interesting. So that's enough interesting. We better start building this mummy museum mystery. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not going to know what the mystery is and everyone's going to fall asleep. <laughs> so that's enough messing about. It is time to build. <laughs> So you can see we have the platform where the sarcophagus is going to go and we also have this little opening spot on the bottom. I've turned Shaggy and, <laughs> and Scooby around so they don't really see what's going on here because we don't want to give away all the mysteries. But look, there's a hidden place under the floor which are actually the front steps up to the exhibit. That's very cool. <laughs> So we have lots of gold dots on and this is starting to take some shape. Some decoration here around where the sarcophagus is going to be displayed. And there, there's the backdrop for it with a little cut out window so you can peek in through the back wall if you want to. And some very interesting information stickers. Let's see if I can put them on straight, which will make me happy. So that one's going over here as a pillar up. And this one is the information about the guy who's well, collected all the gems. And there's even a date at the bottom there, which we will investigate soon. Need some very nice shaping at the top here. There's not a lot in this, but it is really cool. And 
now we have our moving component, which is going to reveal the mystery. There, see, up and down. And here we have got it. There it is the mummy case, the sarcophagus. And here our mummy could fit in there, sort of, kind of. But he's actually supposed to just stand on the little dots. But let's attach this to the moving part so you can flip it open and reveal what is behind it for the mystery. So cool. And of course, because this is Scooby-Doo, there has got to be an enormous delicious sandwich <laughs> which is going to tempt Shaggy and Scooby into, well, all sorts of trouble. <laughs> it tends to distract them from what they're really supposed to be doing. I love these burgers, these sandwiches with the little seeds on the top. They're really cute. We're going to attach the chain to it because this, this is what activates the mystery. Are you ready? No, Scooby, Scooby, no, out. Shoo, 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 ah! <laughs> okay, we need to attach this chain up here to our little hook and it hangs down behind the exhibit, so on the back wall. Can you see what's gonna happen here? I know, Scooby, you can smell the sandwich, but you cannot see it. It is gone. You're gonna have to use your super nose to find it. In the meantime, we need to keep building. The peaks are on the top and this exhibit gets its own little spotlights because it's very important to shine light onto, onto the mummy sarcophagus. There, the spotties, they're gonna light it up at night when you come into the museum. Do you go into the museum at night? <laughs> I don't know that I would want to, it would be kind of creepy. And down here under the floorboards are where the jewels have been hidden. There's an emerald and a ruby and a sapphire. They must be very, very, very expensive and exquisite and important and they're hidden now. So here we go, look, see, when you pull on the sandwich, it opens up the sarcophagus and we are going to have our mystery revealed when that happens. So we've finished the build up here. Look at that, all the way around. And um, yeah, I think these go up to, yeah, to make a nice little frame for the sarcophagus. So here are Scooby and Shaggy. They are here at the museum looking to try and figure out what the mystery is. If they have a look hard at these stickers, they might get a clue, maybe, don't know. Hmm, Scooby can smell something. A delicious sandwich. He's off to have a bit of an investigate by himself. Never split up the gang. He has seen a sandwich at the top of the wall. Very strange place for sandwiches to be kept. And, ah, oh, look at Shaggy. Something has happened back around the front of the exhibit. So quick, quick Scooby, back around the front. Shaggy needs you, stat, and you've brought your sandwich. And oh, look at that. There's a mummy, the sarcophagus has opened and the mummy is coming out. Everyone is petrified, including Shaggy, who was so scared that he ran and he tripped over the step and made the mummy fall over and it oh, was just Dr. Najib after all. And <laughs> when he tripped over the step, he revealed all of the hidden jewels. Oh my goodness, that was an incredibly fortuitous trip, Shaggy. <laughs> These mysteries are just too easy to solve, <laughs> especially when you work as a clumsy team. Oh, Dr. Najib, he would have got away with it if it wasn't for those darn kids. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos. And I'm going to be back with a new one very, very soon.